Hey everybody, Ashton here with 10 Cents with another fragrance review. So today I've got a fragrance from the house of Armoff, which is best known for Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is a clone of Creed's Aventus. The fragrance I have for you today is the newest release in the Club de Nuit line, Club de Nuit Urban Man. All right guys, let's take a quick gander at the presentation here. So this is very similar to Club de Nuit Intense Man, as you would expect. The box has a little bit of a matte finish. Uh, you can see here the name of the fragrance, size and concentration. You have the arm off sign at the top, nothing on the sides. You have ingredients down here at the bottom. And then on the bottom of the box, you have the batch code here. Bottle is the same design as Club de Nuit Intense Man. This time it is see-through instead of just being black. The cap is the exact same. You have the little fake uh, diamonds here all over the cap and on the front. Nothing on the sides or the back. On the bottom you have the sticker. Your batch code is printed in black actually above the sticker. It's kind of hard to make out there. One thing that's a little bit different here than the original Club de Nuit Intense Man is the sprayer. This is plastic and it is actually kind of uh, embossed with our moth at the top there. It's hard to see, but it does say our moth. Distribution is all right. Basically, if you're familiar with Club de Nuit Intense Man, it's the exact same other than the bottle being clear. Now I did get the notes direct from our moth here, so I'm gonna read them to you. The top has grapefruit, bergamot, cardamom, and mint. The mid has ginger, nutmeg, cedar, and lavender. The base has sandalwood, vetiver, oak moss, and patchouli. Now, you'll probably notice a lot of those notes are very popular and very common uh, people-pleasing scents for men, such as Blue de Chanel, Versace Dylan Blue, Dior Sauvage, uh, Mr. Burberry, on and on and on. So that pretty much gives you an idea right off the bat what type of fragrance this is. This is our moth's attempt at a people-pleasing, easy-to-wear, versatile fragrance. This opens up with a little bit of alcohol. It's not overwhelming or anything like that. A whole bunch of spearmint and grapefruit. Those are the two main notes. You also pick up a little bit of cardamom and a little bit of ginger, but it's a ton of spearmint and grapefruit. And my wife actually really likes the opening. For me, it's okay, it doesn't blow me away, it's not anything hyper unique, but my wife likes it. Now about 10 minutes in, this starts to become a clone. It becomes a clone of these, Mr. Burberry Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. Let me explain. To me, it's closer to Eau de Parfum than it is Eau de Toilette. In the far dry down, of Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum. It almost gets a little bit smoky, even almost incense-y smelling, even though incense is not an official note. And Club de Nuit Urban Man never gets to that point. So to an extent, it's almost like a combination of the Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum of Mr. Burberry. It's closer to Eau de Parfum, uh, but it's closer to that mid of Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum. So not the opening and not the far dry down, just what you would smell on Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum, you know, 30 minutes to an hour in. So while Club de Nuit Urban Man is in that Mr. Burberry phase, you get a bit of patchouli and lavender with that grapefruit riding underneath. It is a pretty good clone at that point. It's not something where it's 95% or 99% Mr. Burberry, but it's probably a solid 75 to 80%. And it's kind of a weird way to describe the fragrance, but if you take that mid, of Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum and the dry down, the far dry down of the Eau de Toilette and combine them, that's pretty much what this is. I don't really get any Sauvage, I don't get any Blue de Chanel, uh, I don't get any Versace Dylan Blue, none of that. This is much, much, much closer to Mr. Burberry and I'm almost positive that's what they were going for. Now about 45 minutes to an hour in, the wheels completely come off. Club de Nuit Urban Man goes from a pretty good Mr. Burberry clone to pretty much crap, in my opinion. It loses almost all of its strength. It becomes a complete skin scent. 
I mean, it literally disappears off my skin and within four hours, you cannot even tell that I sprayed it on. And I'm talking three or four solid sprays in the same spot, four hours later, nothing. As you hit that dry down, the notes in this completely muddy together. Um, it becomes difficult to really pick out any single notes. It's like the entire composition falls in on itself. It smells like a warm fragrance at that point, um, a little bit of patchouli, vetiver, and lavender, but it is completely nondescript and completely bland at that point. And when you smell it side by side to either the Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum of Mr. Burberry, it is even worse. It, it smells very thin, very flat. There's not much depth going on. There's no complexity at that point. Um, when you smell either the Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum of Mr. Burberry, you can pick up some counterbalances to the darker notes, maybe a little spice uh, or notes livening the fragrance up a little bit. There is none of that with Club de Nuit Urban Man. It's just a very flat, slightly warm, bland fragrance. I can't say it enough. It's just, it might as well not even be there. And I doubt that there are fakes of this out at this point, and I did get this from a legitimate source, so there are no issues like that here. Um, it just is not a well-executed fragrance, in my opinion. It just does not succeed. I've begun noticing this on FragranceNet and FragranceX. In my opinion, if you see it there, do not buy it. Pass it by, spend your money on something else. Mr. Burberry Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum both were not really well received by the community. And in my opinion, they absolutely blow Club de Nuit Urban Man out of the water. They destroy it. Let alone Versace Dylan Blue, Blue de Chanel, uh, Sauvage, Luna Rosa Carbon, uh, literally anything that you can think of in that vein of fragrances is better than this. And I had my wife smell this probably 20 different times through two different wearings from the opening through the dry down twice. She likes the opening. She doesn't like anything else. And she really does not like the dry down, at least what you can smell before it disappears. I was excited for this one. And it's an understatement to say that I was let down. This, in my opinion, is just terrible. This is best for casual wear. Uh, it would wear best in spring, summer, and fall. In my opinion, better suited probably for somebody 50 years and younger. And also, if you've noticed back here, I have five new releases. If you guys would leave me comments and let me know which of these you'd like to see next. I have 212 Aqua Men by Carolina Herrera, Hugo Boss, Boss the Scent Intense, Paco Rabanne Pure XS, Coach for Men, and Mont Blanc Legend Night. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you've smelled this one, let me know what you think about it. I know that my friend Joy actually seems to really enjoy it. Um, it does not work whatsoever on my skin. It smells terrible. And on tester strips, uh, Mr. Burberry smells probably five times as good as Urban Man. So it fails on skin. It fails on paper. I don't know what to tell you. It's just not good. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.